Okay, guys, now this is seriously awesome. Tap to Life, right from the Tap to Project, has uh, it's launched for Android and iOS. I'm an Android guy, but you know what? You can now use your phone as an NFC reader and writer, and you can launch your favorite games on your Mister directly from your from your phone using like NFC cards, just like you've seen there, right? A nice bit of bubble bubble. Let's kind of go through this and kind of see how I set this up. But it's very very easy, guys. If I did it. Honestly, anyone can. So guys, to begin, head over to either the App Store if you're an iPhone. I'm not really an Apple user, so I got mine from uh, the Play Store, right? So head over to the Play Store or the Apple uh, App Store and go and find this app, Tap to Life, and install this on your mobile device. Right, so you've got the Tap2 app installed on your mobile device. Well, let's just head over to our Mister for a second. And now let's go over to Scripts. And let's go to Update Tool, right? So as soon as Update, 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 <laughs> as soon as Update Tool starts to begin, it's going to give you an option, right? It's going to say Down to Start or Up to Into Settings. Well, let's move it up to Into Settings. And what we want to do is we want to go down here and under Tools and Scripts, let's go in here. And over here, we've got Mr. Extensions Wizzle. Just make sure that's on, right? Mine is already on because I've already done it. I tested everything out, so I know it works. Just make sure that is on. Once that is on, make sure uh, you set it and you get back out. And then after that, save it. Make sure you save it once you've um, switched that option on. And then what you want to do is exit and run update all. And it will just fetch that for you in the next update, the latest version of Tap2, which is a requirement. Okay, so guys, once you have the app installed on your mobile device, launch the app, right? And this is what you're going to see. And what you want to do here is you want to press the little settings cog and that will bring you over here. And from there, you want to input the IP address of your mister. If you're unsure where to get the IP address of your mister, if uh, once you turn on your mister, kind of like press B to go back a menu and then move it left and it will take you to the screen that will take you over to your IP. Just like you're going to see it here from this screen, move it left and it will bring you here. Then what you want to do is that IP you want to copy it into the app like I have done. So there, save that and bang, you have got that here. Provided you've uh, updated to the latest version of Tap2 via update tool, as described in the video, you are dandy. And now what we want to do is we want to write to an an NFC card, or if you've got an NFC tag, or even like a toy, I think they're called like Amiibos. If you've got something like that, you can write onto that. So in order to get to this part, go to where it says create, which is at the bottom in the middle. Once you're there, uh, you're going to get to this screen. Now, initially, it will prompt you to download a game database. So I've already done that. That's why you can't see it here. Download that, and then it will bring you to a search screen. Search for the game that you want to write to your NFC card or tag or whatever i'm searching for bobble bobble it'll bring up different versions of it as you can see i've got 44 versions of bobble bobble here that will include stuff like the nes version the arcade version and it's the arcade version that i want and then simply select write to tag and it will write that down it will it will write over to your nfc tag or card uh, for you now the free version has lots and lots of features the only thing it doesn't have it doesn't automatically launch the game you would have to press play at the bottom in order to launch a game however if you do uh, buy the in-app purchase which for me in uk kind of money worked out to be about three pounds 69 it will launch the games automatically uh, automatically for you now the choice is yours if you want to Ta uh, tap it and launch the game um yeah go for the in-app purchase if you're okay pressing or tapping it and then pressing a button to play then cool go for that it's whatever suits you and that's pretty much it you're, you're playing your games just rinse and repeat that process program each card for whatever game you want and honestly you're just playing away so guys, once you've uh, followed all these steps, well, let's get our phone out, let's get our tag ready, and let's go in front of our mister. So launch the app, and once you're in there, say, uh, press to scan. There's also a button that scans continuously. It's up to you how you want to do it. I'm quite happy pressing the button just to scan it. And here we are. We've just uh, slapped bubble bubble on there, and it just works, guys. And it works phenomenally well. And it's very, very easy going from one game to another, uh, which we're going to see over here. So let's get another a card going uh, on this and let's launch another game okay what shall we launch now let's just go in there let's press that to scan and let's now do robocop 
<laughs> I love this game. And there you go. It's as seamless as that. I've obviously got the premium one. So as soon as I tap it, it launches here. Again, just to kind of point out, um, you know, if you can support the developer, he's putting the stuff out there for free. Support him and you get this extra feature. If not, then yeah, you're going to have to press that play button, which I'm not showing you in here because I've just kind of got the auto launch out there. Let's have a look at like just one more game, just to kind of give you an example of what we can do here. But honestly, it's absolutely fantastic, uh, especially if you've got like setups, you've got kids around. They just tap stuff on there and it just works. Okay, what shall we now check? So I've pressed the scan thing. Oh, let's do some PC Engine. So what I've done is I've allocated a PC Engine game, uh, which is one of my favorite games and it's gonna come on screen now. Can you, do you know what it is from here? Okay, if you've guessed it, props to you guys. It's Bloody Wolf and, and that's really it guys. It is that easy. Honestly guys, uh, Wizzo has done a fantastic job. I absolutely love it. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out whether you go for the in-app purchase or not. Try it out. It, is, it really is that easy. Guys, I'm telling you, if I can do it, anyone can. And you know what game's coming up because it kind of popped up on screen, right? So we're just going to do the last one here. But that's it for this video guys. I kind of hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm a bit sorry, it's a bit rough kind of put together, but I got kind of excited when I saw this was available on um google play and the app store and it was just very very easy to do so go try it out let me know what you guys think let me know what kind of cards you make all good anyway guys this is pixel cherry ninja out